Hello and welcome to another video. It's only been tw less than 24 hours since I recorded yesterday's video about fasting and I didn't eat for that day either so I am still on a fast. It's been about 60 hours somewhere around there. By 8 p.m. tonight it will be 72 hours and maybe I'll eat, maybe I won't. I haven't decided yet. Whatever I do, if I do eat, it will be something easily to digest. And I was just thinking about fasting and thought maybe I can share some tips from personal experience, what's worked for me. And what I've noticed from trying to do multiple day fasts is the first 24 hours is the hardest um, for me. And I've noticed this in others that are trying to fast. Is, so you've got the first 24 hours. If you break that and you get through, yeah, the second day becomes actually easier. You know, I think it's partly because you've accomplished something with the first 24 hours so you feel like you've already you're already on your way you know so you've got that whereas on the first day it's like oh, I can start again tomorrow I can start again there's not so much uh, that you could be missing from the first one so for me once I got to the second day it was easier the second day in the evening I had real strong cravings for just nourishing food like I said uh, if you saw the other video I was talking about spinach I just wanted spinach I didn't want chocolate I didn't want junk food I just wanted something healthy and my mind was justifying that it was talking and the voice within was telling me like well if you're going to eat at least you're eating something good something clean but I had to witness am I actually hungry for food is my function low uh, is my mood low and I'm trying to eat to feel good and I was thinking no I feel good yeah I, I don't I've got feelings of similar to hunger but I'm not hungry I don't feel faint I don't feel weak so I carried on fasting and then once you get to sleep you get like an easy six to eight hours fast where you don't have to think too much about it maybe you dream about food but then yesterday on the third day or second day which one was it but yesterday either way <laughs> I was going through the thoughts like I thought I was going to eat then I set in my mind the intention that I was only doing really 24 hours to 48 hours and I was like do you know what do I want to send my brother some messages, some audio messages? And I was like, do I want to eat? And I was like, I'm trying to work out, do I want to eat for that satisfaction of sitting down with a nice warm meal or and just sitting there and eating it and enjoying it? Or am I hungry? Do I feel I need nourishment? And I was sort of thinking, do you know what? I feel really good. Uh, my attitude feels wonderful. My day's been great. I was like, I'm getting a lot done. I was working on the van. I fixed the diesel heater. I'd done some electrical work with the batteries and... I was getting stuff done. I'd done a podcast, had a beautiful conversation with no problems in communicating and understanding, listening and taking in all the information that was given to me during that. So I was like, do you know, I feel really good. I, I don't feel I need the food right now. Today, I woke up, I done my morning routine. It was different. I felt a little bit light. I felt a little bit, not dizzy, but like a little trancy at moments. I was just like, I need to breathe, I need to get in some energy from the air, so I've done some breath work, yeah, I've done some sun gazing, just not, not a long couple of minutes, yeah, and then I felt my balance come back, yeah, just, just, from, just from breath and sun gazing, brought me in some sort of nourishing balance with my energy, I didn't feel so weak, and I was like, okay, I didn't need the food in that moment, I spent years in my past thinking energy, having suffered chronic fatigue for many years, uh, I became obsessed with food, what type of food I'm eating, when I'm eating, the food needs to give me the energy. And it wasn't until, and this came up in my podcast yesterday, it was excitement. The energy of excitement. Like this was so crucial in my life. This was so life-changing. But having had chronic fatigue for such a long time, I was on a quest for so much energy because it's a terrible place to be to feel completely lethargic and have ambitions, have wants, and be absolutely unable to go towards them. It's like you weigh a so much your physical body weighs so much your mind weighs so much and you just struggle to get out of bed yeah and I also suffered insomnia which made me fear getting into bed lay in bed for ages uh, then I'd go to sleep wake up feeling like I've never slept and I could sleep for 12 hours and wake up feeling ti more tired than when I went to bed and it was just like I couldn't get anything done productive and it was such a force such a power to have to do anything uh, it was so uncomfortable but I started like looking for energy and I was looking through food and it wasn't until like maybe even last year when I had this sort of epiphany, this hit about excitement. It was something I thought about a lot, but I hadn't got into feelings. And it was during sitting, breathing, you know, I was sitting just on my knees, taking some breaths, doing some 
breath work to move my spine to move my body yeah to just be in that moment of openness and release yeah my mind was thinking about excitement excitement's floating around and i was realizing i haven't been excited for a very very long time and i mean that excitement like a child has uh, what a lot of people can relate to is christmas morning yeah, or a birthday some sort of occasion you're, when you're a child that you're so looking forward to you wake up early you run down the stairs you're not thinking of food yeah you're thinking of whatever that activity is that you're so excited whether it's going to a theme park or doing something when you're a child your parents like sit down eat breakfast like i haven't got time i haven't got time i'm so excited it could even be playing with friends you know you come in from the house and the parents are like it's dinner time and you're like oh, i just want to play i just want to play they don't need to eat at that moment for the energy they're full of energy with the excitement that they're in and I look at that and I see how present they are in that moment. That's all their thoughts concentrated in. That activity that they know they're going to enjoy, that they love, and they're excited. And it fills them with energy. And I was sitting there in sort of meditation, in breath, in calmness and stillness. And I got excited that I haven't felt excitement. That stirred up excitement. I was like, wow, I haven't been excited in so long. And I started crying. You know, tears just started streaming big smile across my face and I was laughing and crying at the same time of this new feeling of excitement that I haven't felt in like 20 years and I was just like this is beautiful this is amazing it's like wow I've got so much growth still to do I was so excited and this shows me it's always a measurement I was like wow I feel good at the moment I was doing good but this was like an extra level on, on, on my growth and I was like wow I need to be excited yeah, and I always get myself excited to do these videos. I'm so excited to do my podcasts. I'm so excited to connect and share with you. And I try and find excitement in everything. I feel it's a choice. We use our perception to make ourselves, if you have to do something, and normally that's resistance. So it could be as little as doing the dishes. Yeah, it's not very exciting to wash the dishes. Yeah, it's something I never liked doing is dishes and cleaning. These sort of things always... Uh, plagued on my mind as inconvenience and not the most productive thing even though to build a productive structure I felt like someone else can do this someone else can do this yeah. but at that time I had to do it myself and I still do so now I have to find excitement joy in that process look for things simple as and it may sound simple but simple as I have hands that I can wash dishes with I have water that I can wash dishes with and I'm not making comparisons to people that don't just that I have this in this moment isn't this beautiful isn't this wonderful Aren't I excited to be here in life? Look at the little kids who have like plate sets and cup sets and they, and they play a game to host. They play a game to do cleaning. They play a game. They're always in a game mode. Yeah, so you bring that game into your life. I think I mentioned it other podcast. Someone said about the cards you've been dealt and you play the game. Yeah, you play that game like a child, excited, full of joy, full of love and just enjoying their moments. Yes, yeah, so that really helps finding excitement. But during your fast, to find excitement during your fast, yeah? Be excited of the process. You know, lose the expectation of how long you want to do it for, like what you expect to gain from it. Just get rid of all that. Don't worry about that. Don't think about it. They're excited that just that you're doing it. For whatever reason you've chose, you're just excited. You chose to do it. Isn't that great to have that independence, to be able to choose? So it's like you, you get to do that. You can be excited. And a big part of my process was losing them expectations. And a big part that I see the resistance on people wanting to lose expectations is they think that means no ambition. No. Full ambition. Be as ambitious as you can. Go as high as you can with your ambitions. But you don't expect to reach there. Yeah? You're happy on the way. You're enjoying the journey. Yeah? And then you're not wondering or pondering what the feeling will be when you get what you want. You get the feeling on the way. Then you get what you want and you're on to the next thing. If you look at people that achieve a lot of things in material gains, money, houses, cars, a lot of famous people, they have all these goals, these ambitions, uh, and they drive themselves to them, but they don't feel the satisfaction. And I'm not saying every time, but we can see it by the way certain people live their life, that they're imbalanced within. They get to a certain state and they expect a certain feeling and they don't get that fulfillment and they feel let down yeah, and they get broken down. And that's because they're living in expectations. And this is in my perception, my point of view. Like disclaimer, this is not medical advice. This is my own thoughts, perception, experience. I'm just sharing with love to you all. Yeah, and that's my mission, to share as much love 
as much compassion, as much joy, with no conditions. I expect nothing from you, but I still love you. I have no conditions on how you behave, what you do, who you are, where you are. Yeah? It's not about that. It's the life that you are. And I'm a life. We're a life. We're the same. Yeah, so I love you, truly, gratefully, and honestly. Have a beautiful day. I'm going to keep this short. I'm going to uh, pack up. I've got to go into town today. So leave in this beautiful environment just for a couple of hours. Yeah, go get some water. We have natural springs nearby here that we can fill up fresh mountain water. So it's so wonderful. I get to drink some pure water and really put myself in that intention of how lucky I am, how grateful I am, and just how beautiful it is to have a drink of water. And I say, and I'm excited to go fill up and have some nice fresh water. Staying in excitement as often as possible. And I'll see how my fast goes. Maybe I do another video tomorrow and you'll find out that I'm still fasting. Maybe I'll tell you what me like. Eh, you can see Bodhi I'm out with my dog. You see a dog, oh, he's so excited. He can go from sleep to, to, to energy just through seeing something that grabs his attention and he's just excited. I didn't have to feed him for him to have that sudden burst of extreme energy. It was there with him. Yeah, and that's something I carry with me, a gift that he gives me, an insight that he gives me. Maybe you can relate. And drop a comment where you're watching from, what time of day is it, how are you feeling, have you ever fasted? Do you want me to talk about something about fasting? Do you want me to talk about something totally else? different? Let me know, drop a comment. Don't forget to hit the like, it really helps share the video, help other people see it, find it. And comment and subscribe. All right, have a blessed day, much love. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Drop a comment, like, subscribe, and recommend any content you'd like me to talk about. Check out my channel on all things health, self-love, depression, and much more. Have a beautiful day, and I truly appreciate you for being here, watching, and listening.